What's up all my gypsy lovers and welcome back to my channel. It is midweek and I feel like we could all use some cleaning motivation. So we're going to start this video off by breaking up this candle melt from Yankee Candle. This is one of their fall scents and I'm just going to drop it in my warmer and get my house smelling good. Then I'm just going to wash up a few dishes that are laying around in the sink with a splash of bleach and some Dawn dish soap to my water. The bleach really does smell throughout your whole house. And then I've got my pledge out. I'm just going to start wiping down all of my kitchen cabinets, starting at the top and making my way down to the bottom. I do not do this every week in my cleaning routine. I actually only do it about every two weeks, so maybe once or twice a month. And I always go back and forth between Pledge and Murphy's Oil when cleaning these. And I know there's someone out there that probably needs to do the same, so might as well just bust out that Pledge and get busy. Once the cabinets are done, I'm going to take down these balances and switch them out for something that's a little bit more cozier. I had these up during the summer and spring because they let in a lot of light and they really need to be switched out. So these just make it feel a little bit more cozier in the house. It makes it a little bit darker. They've got a lot of maroons and browns in them. So it really does go with the fall season and especially Thanksgiving since it's coming up. And now I'm just going to give my ceiling fan a good wipe down. I try to clean this every month and it's always just covered in dust. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to clean the table that was under it because everything that fell from the ceiling fan landed right here. So to match the cushions on these chairs, I've got this red and gold sparkly table runner and it's covered in fall leaves. And now I'm just going to go ahead and spray all my counters down with Lysol. Remember, I cleaned off my cabinets, so all of the dust that came off the cabinets landed on top of all of this. Now I'm just going to pull out these chairs. I usually set them on top of my table, but since I cleaned them off, um, I didn't want to get the table dirty. So I'm just sweeping off any crumbs that might be on the cushions and underneath, knock them off into the floor, and now I'm just gonna sweep the floor up. I don't know what it is, I guess since it's the first week of October, I really just needed to switch out the stuff in my kitchen to go with the season. So today my main focus is getting this kitchen done and up to date with the current mood I'm feeling in. So now that that's done, I'm going to wipe down my floors and I've got a rag. I've also got a little bucket filled with warm water and a splash of pine saw. So I've had a friend tell me that actually lays these floors for a living, that it's not really the best to always use a Swiffer or a mop on them. You wanna use a rag so that way you can control exactly how wet you're getting the floors so that it doesn't damage them in the long run. And I always feel like my floors are way cleaner after I wipe them down with a rag anyways. Now that my kitchen's done, I got this plug-in and it's called the Nutcracker. It smells so good. It doesn't really smell Christmassy, 
it's kind of a mix between fall and Christmas. So I'm just gonna plug this right in the entryway, right in front of my door. Then I'm gonna move in to the living room. I don't have much to do in here, just sweep up and wipe things down. As you can see, Harmony's pigging out on the floor watching cartoons. So I'm pretty sure everyone's noticed by now that my daughter is all put together and ready for the day and I'm still running around with my pajamas on and my husband's socks. I'm not trying to impress anybody, I'm just trying to help give people motivation. So I don't really care what I look like as long as my house is clean and my daughter looks nice. Now I'm just sprinkling some carpet powder on my carpet and I let this set for about five minutes before vacuuming it up. Favorite part of cleaning is vacuuming and I only have this little bitty area rug. I really do miss my carpets throughout my whole house but when I think about all the germs and dust that they held, I do not miss that part. And of course, like every day, I'm just going to wipe down my glass, coffee table, and end tables. I can never skip a day doing this only because since they're glass and it's so bright in my house, you can see everything that lays on top of these tables. Moving on to the couches, I've already wiped them down with a damp rag with Pine Saw and I've let them dry. I don't really get them soaked, just enough to freshen up the fabric on the couch. And now I'm going in with clean throws and just tucking them all in. That way the fabrics protect it from my animals and any spills. I've been doing this ever since I've got the couches and they really do keep them smelling so good and looking so new. Since it is fall, we're going to go in with our Airwick pumpkin spray and just spray it all over the fabric of the couches and our area rug. After wiping down the fireplace, we're just going to turn it on low because it is a little bit cold in here and this will break the chill. Moving on to the bathroom. These are what my new floors look like. It took my husband one whole day because he tore up the whole floor, foundation and all, and then he just laid down everything new. And these floors are four bathrooms. You can get them wet, it won't ruin them. And I went with the gray because it is such a smaller space and it makes it just seem so much bigger and cleaner. And it's different than the rest of my house. And I'm just gonna spray down these countertops with Lysol. I do plan on painting these countertops because they have the paint that you can buy for these. But first you gotta sand them down. And I also plan on getting new sink bowls, just white ones. So whenever I get the new sink bowls and take these out, that's when I plan on sanding and painting the countertops. And now I'm just gonna go in with some Ajax and Lysol and I'm gonna scrub the toilet while the Lysol sets on the rest of the toilet and then I'll wipe that all down. And by the way, this is a new toilet. Our other toilet was so big that when we sat on it, our feet actually dangled. I'm not really sure why that was, but it was just a really big toilet. I'm so happy for it to be gone. To share a little tip with you guys, you can actually take your little toilet bowl scrubber, the dish that it sets in and fill it with pine saw or fabulous with water and then just change it out every three to four days whenever you clean your bathroom and it'll keep your bathroom smelling so good and I just wanted to show you guys this little Halloween sticker that my husband and daughter got to put on our toilet and last I picked up this little rack to set in my bathroom to set all of my goodies on and I just move it in front of the bathtub whenever I'm taking a bubble bath and I've got it filled up with all of our soaps. And I've got a few of my husband's soaps on here. And then on the second shelf, I've just got the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using at the moment. I've got some body washes. And then I also have 
my Dove Body Mousse. And I actually use this for shaving. It works so perfect for that. And it smells super clean. And then I've got my number 7 Face Wash. And then on the bottom rack, it's just filled with all kinds of goodies. I've got a scrub brush. And then I have my body scrubs. I've got some face masks and eye patches in the back. And then I have my daytime and nighttime moisturizers. Well, yo guys, that's that. I've pretty much got all the main rooms in my house cleaned up. So now I'm going to turn the camera off and jump in the shower and clean myself up. Thanks for watching.